All right, gotta get this out of the way. Do not reset your pulse meter on your 60 inch Kuro, okay? It will cause problems. It will be hard to get it back into a usable state. Yeah, don't do it, all right? If you are gonna do it, make sure you do it temporarily. And also, do not raise ABL above 200, all right? I do this, and I do it in very controlled conditions on one ABL table, all right? Don't do what I do. You might boot loop your TV. You might reduce the lifespan of your TV, okay? And also, you are responsible for anything that happens to your plasma. Not me, okay? So if you follow this guide, you accept that we're poking around in the service menu, all right? That being said, I've done everything that I show you here to my own Care P500M, all right? So it has been done before. Um, and big credit to Machiavelli 81 on um, AVS Forum. He's the guy that made most of these original guides. I'm just pretty much compiling all of it into a YouTube video. And uh, he also made the programs that I'm linking to you. So yeah, um, with that all being said, we can get started. All right, so I am in Device Manager. And right here, you've got your ports, common LPT, and it'll show your USB to serial COM port Mine's COM4. So then I open up curl command, enter COM4, type FAY, FACSO1 to open the service menu. That'll bring up this screen Go to Panel Factory. Press enter on your remote, then down. This will have your hour meter right here. Um, down again, down again. Maybe it'll be easier if I place this here, yeah. Down arrow um, navigates through the items. And then the up arrow, yeah, down and up arrow. And then the left arrow is gonna change items. And then the enter key will enter and exit the sub menus. So, Panel one, edge, that's your voltages. And so you can access all of them in here, copy them down. Um, what you would do when you first get a Kuro, you wanna lower, copy the original uh, mm. voltage value, but lower the RSTP to, to one. Um, and then these values this one is just a joined one of these three. This is what you would tweak to lower the black levels without doing a reset. But if you do do a reset, you're going to have to raise this value. And then you'll also have to lower these two a little bit and maybe raise your Valsa slightly to get rid of magenta sparkles if that's a problem on your set. Okay. This is your calibration controls, but we're going to access those through KuroCal. You can also access the ABL value here. And then in ETC, this is where you can do your temporary reset. And also you can reset the pulse meter from in here. Anyway, next part. All right, so to do the temporary reset, um, first the backup step. So you have here in ETC, the digital EEPROM setting. You, do, you uh, use the right arrow to navigate to delete, and then you hold down the enter button for five seconds. And then it'll exit that uh, 
that delete screen um, and then the red LED turns on and the blue LED flashes so I don't have a blue LED and you can't even see it on camera but my uh, well I do have a blue LED it's covered up my red LED is solid right now so now if I go up Yeah, the digital EEPROM says no data, and backup says adjust it. So I know that it is in the backup. So now I can type CPM in curl command. That will do the clear pulse meter command. And then FAN to exit the service menu. And then POF to take the TV out of stand uh, into standby. And then PON to take it back out. You can also use the remote for that. Um, still got a solid red LED. So now the TV is reset and you can do your voltage adjustments and uh, Probably on a curl all you need to do or on a KRP 500m all you need to do is raise the um, The VYF setting So we do uh, VYF 178 uh, What is the other one? I don't remember the abbreviation for RSTP, but I'll put it in the description. And then you do XS, XSB123, YSB123. These would be good pre preliminary settings. Um, yeah, and then you hit enter there. I don't even need that on my set. Um, and you can if you get any artifacts then you're going to have to manually tweak the voltages and as long as you do not disconnect your set from the power you can leave it in this state for a while uh, I don't recommend doing that because that's just um, it's kind of risky right so just test out um, like I only recommend you do this for a day max leave it in this temporary reset state max, for a day max while you're deciding and then uh, make it permanent or revert it after you've tested everything and it all looks good once you tweak the voltages then record everything and, and then finally make it go through so if you want to make it go through um, then you would let me act that out so let's go FA FAC SO1 Back to panel factory, down, 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 ETC. So yeah, if you, this is, to be clear, do not do this unless you're sure that you want the reset to go through. You're going to go down to digital EEPROM and then you're going to go over to repair with the right arrow and then hold the enter button. Uh, for five seconds, but since here I want to undo it. I'm going to go to backup data Transfer this will take us back to the state that the TV was in so I'll hold the enter key for five seconds Right and then FAN Oh First, I'll hit enter to get out of that menu, not that I think it matters. And then POF, PON. Now my red LED is no longer solid, so my TV is back to the state that it was in before, um, before that temporary reset just happened. And don't be alarmed by the TV being gray. Whenever it comes out of power, 
it's gray for a second. It's just how the curl works, and then the black level goes back down. Yeah, okay. There's that part. Alright, so you got CurlCal open. Um, in order to do calibration and patch your, or do the ISF patch, uh, well, ISF mode calibration, and, and then patch the ISF modes in, you will select the KRP500M. This is only for the KRP500M. And then KRP ISF patch. And then once that finishes, you'll hit start ISF day. Um, get all and then save and then end it and then start ISF night and then just repeat that um, and then those will appear as picture modes for you um, so yeah that's that's that and then you can use them later to uh, calibrate it's basically all the same things as your normal picture modes except you also have this gamma down here it allows you to customize the gamma I'm still experimenting with that um, even after all this time uh, but it does seem to give you better results than the gamma preset of one for a gamma 2.4 target um, anyway yeah that's enough about that for ninth generation models including the KRP 500M you will use this mode, uh, the 5020 slash 6020 FD mode. I don't know about this mode, this mode, this mode, and this mode, but this mode works to do the service menu calibration. Um, select the white balance table slash ABL table current. Start service menu calibration. That's going to bring up this screen. You can see that I have actual ABL 245. So um, I'm not going to touch any of this right now because my ABL is boosted to 200, but I'll just explain how all this works. You go left and right to, uh, yeah, you click these arrows to change the values, and then you click the box to apply it. Um, don't touch this um, or this unless you're calibrating, and never touch this because uh, it doesn't work. The RLGLBL unfortunately does not work. The BIOS uh, function just doesn't work, but luckily the high end affects the low end sufficiently that you don't actually need a BIOS uh, setup or a BIOS setting uh, to do a calibration. So basically I'll just show you um, what you do with the ABL. First you set it to 200. That's a safe value for every single uh, curl. It's not going to shut down or anything. Um, mine's at 245, but that's only because I set it through curl command. Do not set it above 200 through curl cal. You may end up in a boot loop because it'll flash a white screen when you click this gray box and it changes the value. And a full white screen may cause your set to go into shutdown. So just leave it at 200. That's the safe maximum unless you're doing it through a command, through curl uh, command. Um, and then when you're done applying it to 200, you're going to end, or no, you'll hit apply deltas to remaining tables. Um, and that'll do it to all of the ABL tables. If you want, you could have, or if you wanted to, you could have recorded your original ABL values and do record all of this with the save to image uh, function. Yeah, I don't think there's really any reason that you need to write down your original ABL, but if you want to, go ahead. Um, as far as the panel white balance, though, I would advise that you record all of this with the save to image for every single ABL table, which I guess includes your ABL value, so just go ahead and do that. That's right. So you just check that your ABL value is 200, end service menu calibration, go to a different ABL table, start service menu calibration, it will flash the white screen end service menu calibration because it says 200 then you'll just check them all individually, you get the idea, right? Um, and the same thing goes for a saved image but the apply deltas to remaining tables button should work uh, 
if it says the actual ABL is higher than the ABL value, then just increase it until the actual ABL says 200. Um, yeah, that about sums it up.